We're just going to discuss an issue <clears throat> with the restoration of this uh, Get Jyoti race bike. Now, that's a dot of rust. That's rust. There's other problems that look like rust, but they're not rust. These are flaws in the clear coat. So what they did, they had the chrome, okay? And then they covered it with a clear coat. And that's why I was not able to polish out that rust spot real quickly. Um, so this is kind of a good thing because it gives us a chance to talk about, uh, let me let me show you some more problems here. Well, it's about the same thing, some rust and sometimes the finish. Okay. So remember how we said that the final product will be no better than the aggregate of all the choices you make and the work that you do every step of the way. So I can't, I'm just not going to leave that. But I can't get rid of the rust just by polishing with a rag because there's a clear coat over the chrome. I'm not familiar with anyone who ever clear-coated chrome. It's a chain stay, so maybe they were thinking it would give some protection to something. I don't think that clear coats are gonna really gonna protect chrome too well. You have to use a some kind of a plastic overlay that's thick that can take a chain whack. That's how this gets chewed up. I got some rust because it was tapped by a chain. Okay, what are the options? One option would be to get rubbing compound like you'd use on paint that was rough and on a car and you could compound those sections and the compound would be aggressive enough where you could get through the clear coat and it would just remove the clear coat and get down to chrome and it would be very easy to polish out the rust. If you had trouble, you could take a little nub on a Dremel that was wool, put some Mother's Megan aluminum polish on it and twirl right on those sections. You do that. Um, you could attempt to repair each dot of rust with a Dremel alone. You could do that. If you weren't thinking, you could use a paint remover on the uh, chrome, but I guarantee that that liquid, even if you tape off the paint, will get to that paint and damage it. That's out. In the interest of consistency, it looks like I'm gonna have to compound all of these chrome chain stays here by hand with a compound then polish them out by hand and that's probably what I'll have to do that can take a long time if you're trying to compound through paint down to metal 
I'm not going to use sandpaper. Mm -mm. That's a great way to ruin the finish on the chrome and make the chrome far more likely to be problematic. I'll probably start on a small two inch section, work it, try and get that chrome perfect, then move along. I might do that. But I'm not going to get this looking new unless I remove that clear coat. Now I could re-clear coat it. I'm not inclined to do that. This bike is not going to be a daily rider. I'm going to ride it three times a year. It's going to be a cherry bike. It's got, you know, sew up tires on it. You know, I mean, it's a it's a beautiful afternoon, three days a year rider, like a sports car Ferrari would be. I, I'm going to be using this on a daily basis. So it doesn't matter that the chrome doesn't have new clear coat on it because. It's not going to see regular use. And you, you know, chrome stays pretty good for a long time without help. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on with the chain stays. We'll make some videos working on it.